If you stay till the end of this video, you will know exactly how to make viral short form videos on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or any other platform from start to finish. You'll know how to come up with incredible content ideas, create good outlines that actually go viral, how to film, set up your studio, how to edit with AI, and post across all the different platforms in a matter of seconds. Let's roll. First, let's talk about coming up with good content ideas. By the time you watch this, you will never again wonder what your next piece of content will be. You will have a list hundreds of pieces of content long. So there's three ways that we're gonna come up with good ideas. The first one is using wordtracker.com. When you get there, you're gonna type in the big desire of your audience. So whatever category you're in, they've got a desire, right? If it's weight loss, they wanna lose weight. If you're in getting strong, they wanna get strong, right? If you're in money, they wanna make money. So mine is typically money. I'm gonna type in make money, that's their big desire. And it's gonna give us all these different things that people type that are, they're looking for online around this thing. Essentially what we've got here is we've got a list of the biggest questions that people have around making money. So you can see here people wondering how to make money on YouTube, how does Honey make money, how to make money online, how to make money fast, how does Robinhood make money, how much money do teachers make, how to make money as a kid, jobs that make a lot of money, right? These are all good ideas. I can make a list of the five best top paying jobs that are in 2023. And you can see right here, the list is huge that it's going to give you. And I can type in a few different desires. I can type in make money, earn cash, make money online, all kinds of different little phrases to come up with different ideas here out of Word Tracker. Now the second way I come up with content ideas is pretty unique to me and I don't see a lot of people doing this or teaching this, but it's one of the best ways to get really viral videos. And what you're gonna do is it's called cross verticalizing. So I'm gonna go to tiktok.com and I'm gonna choose a niche that's not my exact niche, but it's really close. For example, let's say I was in the stock market niche, I might go with the real estate niche. Or if I was in crypto, I might go with the stock market niche, right? Something that's really close. So I'm gonna type in real estate right there. I'm gonna go to accounts and I'm gonna try to find a few big accounts. So there's a good example right here. This one's got 700,000 followers and they talk about real estate investing. Next, I'm gonna leave a link down below to this extension, but it's an extension in Chrome that's called Save for TikTok. And when you click that link and add it, you're gonna be able to click sort for TikTok. You're gonna click start and it's gonna take all the videos this person's ever produced and it's going to sort them in the proper order so that you're able to see their most viral videos in order. After about 30 seconds, you're gonna see right here, I now get to see his best videos ever that all have millions and millions of views and I can hover over right here and get an idea of what the video is about. Or I could watch it, but it says, do you want to become a real estate developer? So I could easily take that and say, do you want to become a stock market investor? And then follow along with what he's doing in his, but targeting a different audience. This one right here is about how teens can make a million dollars through real estate. We can talk about teens can make a million dollars through the stock market, right? There's very similar ideas, very similar desires, and we're just kind of approaching it from a different perspective since we're taking a stock market perspective. And the last way I'm gonna show you for ideas is probably one if you're a brand new account and you're, you're smaller than maybe a thousand subscribers, this is the fastest way to grow and that's jumping on current trends. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google News and you're gonna keep track every morning of Google News and what's happening in the world today. That's probably a good idea anyway. But you can see right here, I've got this hurricane coming, right? So let's say I'm in the real estate niche and we've got this hurricane coming. Is there any way that I can take this current news where everybody's talking about this already and I just wanna join the conversation, but can I join it from the perspective of what my account is about? And if I'm in real estate, I could easily make three or four pieces of content that connect this to this hurricane, right? I could say, if you're an investor and you're wondering how a hurricane could affect your investments, or I could talk about insurance and how insurance works with hurricanes with real estate investments, or what happens if your tenants have to move out, right? There's a bunch of different angles I can take that people are probably wondering if they're getting into real estate or they're current real estate investors. Like, what would happen if a hurricane hit my house? How would that play out? And if you're one of the first few people to create content around a very big trend for your niche, there's a good chance you're going to blow up quickly. Once you have your ideas, you're gonna move into outline mode, and I use the same outline for all almost all of my content, it's got three parts to it. The first part is a hook. And what a hook is, is what you're gonna say in the first five seconds to get them convinced that they need to watch the rest of that video. And I'm gonna say this right now, if you have a good hook, you're probably going to have a viral video. So there's two ways to get a good hook. The first way is to target curiosity, and the second way is to target a problem or a desire. What I mean by curiosity is it's saying something that makes them just have to know how it's gonna finish. So it could be asking a question that they've always wondered. It could be showing something on screen where they have to know what's going to happen next. Or you can say something that targets their problem slash desire. And we're gonna show you an example of this in about 30 seconds here. But once we've hooked them, then we have to go through what's called the journey. And this is the next 10, 20, 30 seconds where we're kind of leading them along a journey to solve their curiosity or solve their problem or desire. We don't wanna instantly solve it, right? If we're gonna show them something really crazy, if we've got something, you know, a spider dangling over our head, we don't want that to get resolved 
involved till the very, very end. We don't want to drop the spider right when we start the journey phase because then the video is over for them and they don't want to watch anymore. And once we get to the solution where we solve their problem or we help them achieve the desire they want to achieve, the video ends just like that. So let's run a quick example on my phone. We'll show you and we'll kind of show you on the side here what phase we're in of this video. This is how I bought my very first rental house while I was still in high school and I was making no income at all. Step one is I signed up for XYZ program and after that I actually went and I read this book and that book connected me with this type of loan. So I went and found a loan officer in my area that serviced that type of loan and he connected me with a network of people. And one of the people in that network actually had enough money that we were able to connect. After that I went knocking on doors in my area until I found a rundown house and I showed it to the connection that I had made in the networking event. I put it all together and I walked into the bank with my new friend and within 60 days we were able to purchase this house right here with no money down from me. Next step is you've got to have a good filming studio and you can see right here, I've bought a billion lights over time. You don't need to have a studio like this. Honestly, there's three things you need to have. You need to have good lighting, you need to have good audio, and then if you can, some kind of background that makes sense. For good lighting, honestly, the best thing you could probably do is just have natural light on your face. If you've got a window, stand up next to that window and you're going to do great. For good audio, you can get any good USB mic and you can use this cord right here to plug that directly into an iPhone. Phone. And the two biggest things I could say about the background are one, you want space between you and your background. So you can see right here, I'm kind of unnaturally close. This is kind of a weird setup, right? But that gives me a lot of space between my background. And what that does is you can see that when I'm really close to my camera right here and my background is far away, it gives me that really nice, clean, blurry look that people really like to look at. And if you have the budget, you can buy a couple of colored lights to give some structure and give some shadows and things to that background. Now let's move on to the filming stage of this video. We've got our outlines, we've got our studio all set up, and we're gonna film, and all we need is our phone. We don't need anything crazy for this. We can make incredible productions on any phone. So the app that you're gonna to wanna to use for this is an app called CapCut. I'll leave a link down below to that as well. This is going to help us film, it's gonna help us create and edit and do everything we need to in just a matter of minutes because it's got a lot of really cool AI built in. Now when you get into CapCut, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go into CapCut right there, and it's going to have all these millions of options. It's gonna be confusing. Just click camera right there. And once you're in the camera, it's going to show you right here a camera. You can flip on the top right to show what's in front of you or to show what's behind you. On the time frame right there, I always select 60 seconds because that's the length of video that works across all the different platforms. And the reason you're gonna tell it that you want it to be 60 seconds is it's actually going to tell you how far into the video you are so you don't go over time. You can see when I click that green recording button and hold it down, it's got that little blue dot moving along and letting me know how much time I have left before the 60 seconds is up. Now the really cool thing and the reason that I film in CapCut is I'm able to film and stop filming multiple times so I can stop every single sentence, re-get my bearings, and then know what I'm going to say in the next sentence and I can make this really crisp. So you can see right here, I'm holding down the button and I'm talking right now, but I'm probably gonna freeze in about three seconds. I just have to let go of the button, I wait, then I can hold down the button again and continue speaking when I'm ready and I'm able, able to gather my thoughts. But where I think CapCut really shines too is this teleprompter right here. In the top right corner, one down, I can click teleprompter and you can see it's now able to put this on the screen. I can put in any kind of script and just copy and paste it in there. As soon as I start filming, I click go, it's gonna count down and then it's going to start on the teleprompter for me. And so you can see right here, this video is all about good short content. By the way, now is a great time to give me a thumbs up down below if you're still watching. Another cool thing about CapCut is if you film and you don't like what you just said, you can easily remove that last clip and that's why I film it in sections. So for example, if I'm right here and suddenly I so much stumble off and I stumble on my words, I can just click that X right there and it'll delete that last little clip that I made and I can say it again, hopefully a little better this time. The last really cool thing about CapCut is this option right here where I can click on effects and I can actually click green screen, click that second one in and I can change my background to any picture on my phone that I want. This means that I can film wherever I want, I can film on the go, I can film in a crappy studio, I can film walking around my house, and I can still make halfway decent content. This is why I love CapCut because you can make really high quality content and you can do it very, very quickly. But the editing is really awesome as well. Once you've come up with something that you feel good about, I'm gonna click that X mark or that check mark right there. I'm gonna click on edit and then you're gonna see what comes up. There's really three main edits that you're gonna to wanna to focus on for each of your videos, and it's only gonna take you five minutes to do. The first one is you're gonna to wanna to tighten things up. You're gonna to wanna to go cut all those little teeny bits out before you talk and after you talk so that you have a very steady voice and you just keep talking and there's no breaks in it because this is short form content and people have short attention spans and if you have a short attention span, you're gonna click out even if there's a one second break. Now the way we do that is really, really easy. I'm just gonna click on the clip right there. That's the first clip, right? And I can just grab that left part and drag it in and be good to go. So I can click play, wait till I start talking, and then drag it into that spot. Same thing right here, I go to the end, I click pause, and then I can drag that right spot in exactly to where I stopped talking, and then go on to the next clip. Click into it, 
wait till I start talking, click play up there. And as soon as I start talking, I can drag that clip in just like that. That way it's one steady flow of talking. The next edit you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add fun transitions every three or four clips. Now that's very, very easy to do. You click into the black space underneath and it's going to show this and it's going to show you little bars in between each of the clips. I'm going to click on that little bar right there and you can see it's got all these different transitions. I'm just going to go for maybe a simple blur. I'm going to click radial blur and I'm going to click check. Now I'm going to click play here and show you what it looks like. It's this fun little blur transition, right? Now you probably don't want to do that every single time. It'll get frustrating, but go across a few of them and every 10 seconds or so add a fun transition. This helps keep people engaged in your content. The only other thing you're going to want to do is maybe add some text and some arrows. We're not going to add too much text because I'm going to show you how to easily add those awesome Hormozy style text at the bottom, just like this right here. But if you do need to add a couple words or two, you're just going to move the timeline to where you want to add the text. Click the text button and click add text and you can add any kind of text you want and mess with fonts, styles, effects, all kinds of things with that text. And the last thing that does really well in shorts is stickers. So you can see I can always go back with that bottom left arrow to that main screen right there. I can scroll all the way over and it's got a stickers option and I can click over to arrows and add all kinds of arrows and circles and things like that to kind of highlight what I'm talking about and point to different things on the screen or to add emojis and fun things like that that kind of just help keep people engaged. Now you can see there's this awesome timeline there. I can always click and drag and move things along that timeline and move them around where I want them to be and to line them up. Once you have a video that you're happy with, you're just going to click on the download button in the top right and you can see it's going to export it directly to your phone. Now for this part we're going to be using an app called Submagic and the reason I love Submagic is it's budget friendly and it's going to add those incredible Hormozy style captions perfectly and it's going to do it in about two clicks. Wait, what? two clicks. So we're going to leave a link down below to this Submagic app and once you get into the Submagic app you're just going to click create and you're going to upload the file. Once you've uploaded it you're going to see it's going to show you this screen right here and these are all the captions that it's come up with. I've never had an issue but if you want to go through and see if it actually heard all the words correctly you can double check but then you're just going to go to design right here and you're just going to click on Hermosi 1 and it's going to add those Hermosi style captions. I'm going to show you right here. Very very simple and they're exactly what you're looking for. You can go and tweak them if you want. You can go change any kind of color, you can change the positioning, anything like that. But honestly, uh, these are near perfect Hermosi style captions with that one single click. So all you're going to do is you're going to click export and you're going to export the video. Now the last part is absolutely essential for your time and for you maximizing your chances of going viral. And this is where we're going to put it across all the different platforms. And we're going to do it in a way where we don't have to spend any additional time to put it out on all the other short platforms. So to do that, I'm going to leave a link down below to the last tool. And this is called repurpose.io. And what repurpose.io is going to do is we're going to have to post this on one of the four short form platforms and it's going to post it on the other ones for us. And I'm talking about Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. And I can definitively say you do not want to just post your content on one of these platforms. They are all four almost the exact same except they have different algorithms which means you can quadruple your chances of going viral with no extra work. So what you're going to do inside of Repurpose is you're going to go to connections here and first you're going to connect all four of your accounts. And I would honestly go create an account if you don't have one of these four. You're going to click add new connection. Each one's going to be a little bit different, but it'll take you about a minute or two to add repurpose.io to all four of your accounts. Next, you're going to go to workflows up here and you're going to create a new workflow. And all we're going to do is we're going to say, when I go to TikTok, I want it to go to, let's say, well, this one will be Facebook. Then I'm going to choose a source type, which is going to be TikTok. And essentially all I'm telling repurpose is whenever I post a video on TikTok, so you can see in the next one, whenever I upload a video on TikTok, I would like you to put it on Facebook. So my destination will be Facebook and then I'll have to go select which page I want it to go on. When it gives you an option, you definitely want to run with Reels. Reels has the most potential for virality right now. And once it's completed, you'll see down here, it's got it all set up right there. And this is where it gets really cool because I can go to these settings and I can add an outro. So if you're familiar with all these platforms, right? YouTube, I might be able to add a link in my description to the short. But in Facebook, I might have to add the link to my Facebook profile is the way you would typically add a link. And so it's a little bit different each time. And what I can do is I can film one outro for each of them for Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and and I can have it automatically add that outro to the end of each one. So it'll take that TikTok video, download it, and then it'll connect and add a Facebook outro that has me saying, if you want to learn a little bit more about what I'm talking about here, I'm actually going to leave a link in my Facebook profile
profile that you can go on and click on and you can go learn more about this. And I can add this outro right here and it will automatically add that to every single video that goes out on Facebook from now on. And if I have the paid plan, you can see here it's all set to manual right now. And once you get a paid plan, you can select and move all those over to auto and this will all happen automatically. I'm going to upload my video one time to TikTok and that video will get outros added and then it will get uploaded to all the different short form platforms automatically in the background. And this is how you explode on short form content platforms. You get a good idea, you use a proven outline, and then you maximize your chances of going viral and growing with each video by posting automatically across all the different platforms. If you're still watching, I'm assuming you've learned something. Go ahead and click subscribe. The next video will be even better.